Well, federal regulators are working to cut the cord on robocalls. Some telemarketers are still getting through to some phones on the National Do Not Call Registry. Chip Reed is at the Federal Trade Commission in Washington with how new technology is clearing a path for calls to your phone. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. As one U.S. senator put it, that do not call registry is now ineffective. Some new technologies, including smartphone apps, are allowing unwanted callers to reach you. I've been bombarded by unwanted and irrelevant sales calls. Linda Blaze is fed up, and she brought her complaint to Capitol Hill. I work at home. When I'm not working, I want my time to myself. Instead, I get phone calls from people I don't know trying to sell me stuff I don't need or want, and I can't make them stop. Her number is on the do not call registry, but the phone keeps ringing. Well, I'm calling about an online request you once made. Years, years it's been going on. She kept track of them, logging every unwanted call she received for a month. The total, 62. It's, it's out and out crime and it needs to be stopped. But the numbers keep growing. Complaints to the Federal Trade Commission about unsolicited robocalls have nearly tripled since 2009, from 63,000 a month to 150,000 a month. New technology makes it easier and cheaper for robocallers to stay a step ahead of the regulators charged with keeping them in check, says FTC to Associate Director Lois Greisman. In short, bad actors have taken advantage of this relatively cheap and scalable business model and used it to blast literally tens of millions of robocalls, illegal robocalls, over the course of one day at a cost of less than one cent per call. Tim Marvin of Consumers Union manages a grassroots campaign aimed at stopping robocalls. Consumers are already paying a ton for their phone service, and right now they're paying for a phone service to get a bunch of calls that they don't want. It just doesn't make any sense. His group wants phone companies to offer robocall blocking technology to customers, an idea the FCC could approve later this month. I've heard that there are solutions on the way and that people want this to stop. The FCC is scheduled to vote next week on allowing customers to get robocall blocking technology. And the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, is, is pushing legislation on Capitol Hill to give the FTC more power to block those calls. It is very frustrating. Thank you, Chip. Thank you very much. I think you just say, listen, I'm rushing to the airport. I'd love to talk. Got to go. <laughs> Nobody ever greets a robocaller with, I'm so glad you called. Oh, no, you should have. So glad you called. I have some questions for you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's good. Maybe I could convert you I, to I my I just hand special... the phone to my three-year-old and let them talk to the three-year-old. <laughs> I have some really questions for you. That may be the best of all. <laughs> yeah.